anytime we're making change, it's going to be a little messy. When you think about change, it's not always easy. No one likes change. But change is hard. Change is hard. When crises happen, change is required. But crises and the changes that come in response can be an opportunity, especially in education. The pandemic for me was really the curveball from heck because we were flying blind at that point. The rapid need for remote and virtual learning technology resulted in the purchase of dozens of new and often costly digital apps, many with little regard to ease of use or efficacy. This was an emergency. We all recognized that not everything needed to be kept, and in fact, not everything from pre-pandemic needed to be retained either. The fundamental question that we were trying to figure out is how useful are these different tools in the classroom and why are they useful? As part of developing this new technology use plan, PUSD's CBO, Ahmad Shikul Islami, started a conversation with the Geisels Group, specialists in managing and embracing change. Traditionally, school administrators evaluated digital apps using statistics. This data-driven, quantitative approach left out a valuable qualitative input, one coming from teachers and students. We don't want to make the work of teachers hard. We know they work really hard. We want to find something that's more user-friendly and we don't have to train, train, train them to death. Working with the guys was group, it was an opportunity to see a different approach. Look at it from the user's perspective. Take a look at it from the student and teachers and say, okay, what is it that we're all here really, uh, re really uh, serving and what's the purpose? Geisel's group met with PUSD's admin team to present their new plan, a process that included asking each of them to spend time surveying and then conducting follow-up interviews with teachers and students. Needless to say, coming on the heels of years of COVID-related chaos, push in leads to push back. Who's making this decision? How much more work is it going to be? We're kind of in the same mindset of other teachers, right? Change is hard. It seems too cumbersome doing the surveys, doing the interviews, because everyone has so many projects on hand. It's how do we take the time to do all this um, different methods of gathering data? You know, a teacher comes in with a lesson that they've worked on and they're excited about implementing and sometimes it falls flat on their face because the students are not ready for it or don't understand where it's going yet, so they do push back and ask, ask questions. It's not that um, they weren't ready, it's they weren't ready yet. You know, you have to do that first push in to see what the response is going to be like, but realize that your first attempt's not going to be your last one, and you're going to have to monitor and adjust all the way through the process. It's about that bold humility of listening and really learning about what's going on. One of the things we grew into was really doing a deep dive and working with everyone on the team to understand what we were doing and why we were doing it. The work of understanding what and why turned out to be a bit messy at times, but through a process called the curiosity stage, those answers became clear. This is a big shift to curiosity. At four years old, we're asking why, why, why with an open mind. And then the impinging forces come down on us and we stop asking why and we rush to the what. And this was a, a big leap for everyone because the aha here was being curious, very curious to find out really what was it about the experience for the student and the teachers that made a tech tool valuable, applicable, easy to use, productive. That whole process of you know talking about what curiosity means, I remember that day um, pretty vividly because that's the day that made me think, oh, I get it. I get what we're doing here. And then we practiced the interviewing of our students and our staff and our parents. The team developed a survey that narrowed down the crucial criteria used to evaluate the digital apps. Is it easy to use for both teacher and student? Is it an effective teaching tool for the teacher? And finally, 
Is it an engaging learning tool for the student? The administrators then conducted in-depth interviews with both teachers and students. The response was immediate and eye-opening. Students feel like they've never been hurt because no one really asked those questions and they were kind of taken back. Students have always wanted to be hurt. It was really apparent when something was successful and it was apparent when something was, you know, not successful or unused. It was going deeper and slower so you could get to the validity of the story and what they found useful in apps quicker. I think going through this process is having those interviews and providing that information with teachers, it kind of changed their mindset as to look, yes, you might think an application works well with your instructional method, but is it effective with your students? When it comes to the student and to the teacher in today's complex you know, world that we're in, that we really need to, uh, to ensure the efficacy and the effectiveness of these tools by making sure it's easy to use and, and, and they're comfortable with it. There's a lot of growing pains throughout the process, but in the end, um, I feel like we as a team learned a lot and how we can do better. Students want to learn and teachers want to teach. Because when you think about change, um, it's not always easy for everybody involved. The methodology that we, we went through in this process is, is now become part of the technology plan. It's something, it's an instrument, it's a vehicle that we can utilize as we move forward with future technology plans. Making sure that we remain open and, and we're curious about all things. Curiosity is going to take us forward to try and answer some of those questions that might be the unknown out there and these tools that we've been provided will definitely help us out. But we're never at a point where we can't continue to improve. It's about that bold humility of listening and really learning about what's going on with this app with the teachers. We don't know what we're going to be in five years or where we're going to be. By studying it in small amounts and seeing where trends are happening, those trends are very important, not only in what is not working, but what is working well and worth scaling. PUSD's novel approach towards embracing change in its technology plan has proven successful both financially and educationally. The process has shown that even in the most trying times, administrators, teachers, and students can come together and discover the best solutions for everyone. And most importantly, make a difference for our kids.